Hi guys, hope you're good cuz I'm good and hope you're good and we can be all good together Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to Abraham's garage in today's video I'm gonna be installing LED lights for my BMW 7 series for the fog lights Special thanks to Exito for sending me their product to test out and show you guys I'm actually very excited because as you know the lights with the 7 series of the generation that I have don't come LED all around so the fog lights are actually yellow and I want to change them to LED and I'm going to take you guys through the process show you the before and after and show you how it is to install the product let's go and check it out also if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you like the video give me that thumbs up let's go and check it out look at the front of the car how it comes original obviously I've changed the top halo ones to white but the actual nighttime running lights are off so it's just the fog lights with the halos all right guys here's a look at the front of the car with the fog lights on and we're about to change and the halo lights are on in the front as you can see and then the fog lights and then that's how it's looking on the garage all right guys, well these are the lights that we're gonna be installing. This is the package that it came in. I wanna show you everything from the outside and inside. This one is the one with the H11, H8, H16 and the 6500 white. And uh, I'm just gonna open it to show you how it looks on the inside. So pulling it out, we have the two lights in. They're padded they're, and they're decent quality when you touch them. Also, um, it should be very easy to install, just plug and play. So as you can see, those are the inserts and we're just gonna be putting it right in. Also, it comes with a little bit of an instruction manual showing you in two different languages. A little bit of the installation guide and process. Yeah. It should be fairly simple to uh, install these lights. However, this does give you some question and answers and things like that, just in case you need it. All right, guys. Well, first things first, we need to open up the bottom to be able to get to the fog lights and replace it. There are two ways on about doing it in every single car. You can either open up the whole bumper and the grill, or in this case, we're trying to go the easier route and go through the tire and the bottom part of the bumper. So first things we got to do is got to jack the car up, then open the wheel and open the compartment, get to the fog lights. All right, guys. Well, now we've opened up the tire. Now we need to open up bolts all around as you can see all around to be able to get to the fog light all right guys so we had to take off the whole interior side cover and then open the bumper we were trying to get away with not opening the bumper and getting to the light but we had to open a little bit of it as you can see there's a very tight corner where the light comes off from that's the connector right there and these are the before and after lights so this is what came out of the car and then that's the LED light we're gonna be replacing with the new ones. Let's go and try to put it back in, see how it's gonna be. All right guys, and now we're just gonna be putting it in. So taking the bulb, putting it into where the old one was. It's a straight replacement. And there you go, just like that it's connected. Guys, something we always wanna check about is if the bulb actually works. 99.9% .9 of the time they do turn on, where we just wanna check because the process of putting it back in, connecting part is easy, but putting it back to where it was, it's kinda of difficult. I'm not gonna show you how it is because I wanna show you the light what's in, it's in the car, but I did check it and it worked perfectly. Now we're just gonna go put it back. All right guys, as we're putting everything back on the left side, we wanna make sure we put that back all the screws screw them a little bit and then after you know tighten them up make sure everything fits go step by step as we open to close it down all right guys now we have the lights installed as you can see on this side is the auxedo light very white and bright and then on the other one we have the factory one these are the Auxedo fog light look at night time as you can see it's super bright and it's super white It does actually help a lot with the visibility too as you can see I have it on the same mode so the angel lights are on And then the light down here
And now here's the look of it. As you can see, made it a lot brighter than it was before. Something I was noticing a problem with this car is that the lights weren't bright enough. But now, run now running this with the normal lights, it's going to be a lot better. And finally, I can have good visibility. Look at the old lights. Alright guys, so here's a look of the car with just the fog lights and the halo lights on at night. It's actually super bright, so from a distance you think the lights are on. As it gets closer, then you notice it's just the fog lights. Look with just the fog lights. Here's a look with the both lights on so the running lights up top and the fog lights on the bottom as you can see it's interesting how the fog lights look actually a bit whiter than the actual lights of the car so compared to the factory BMW lights the fog lights are whiter which is nice From the inside, this is the look of the car. Now you can see this is without the fog lamps, with the fog lamps, without, and with. All right guys, well that's the installation of before and after the Exito lights. As you can see, the car is making it a lot more brighter uh, output from the fog lights and a nicer color. If you're interested in changing your lights, you can definitely visit the website Uxedo, uh, link in the description, and apply the discount code Abraham, which will give you 15% off your order. So it's something to look into if you are changing. Go check out their website, see what they have to offer for your vehicle. And also don't forget to use the discount code Abraham. Everything will be down in the description. And hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me that thumbs up. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Hope to see you soon on my next video. Have a good one.